Hi, welcome. And let's see how we can create users within the Ubuntu server. So I've already fired up my Ubuntu terminal. Yeah. Now, for us to uh, create users, we need to interact with different types of file. Uh, the first file is the password file, which is going to enable us to uh, see the available users and also how we can uh, adjust or edit uh, the user settings. So to interact with via uh, with the, that particular file, you need to have your editor. Uh, you have to open your editor. So uh, I'm using the VI editor, and the password resides within the or the password directory is within the etc. So once you have typed that particular command, it will enable you view the available users and user settings. So you can see, uh, we have different accounts, starting with the uh, root account, we have system accounts, but within this particular uh, tutorial, we are interested with the user accounts. So at the bottom, we have two users accounts, the uh, John Sag and Johnny. For instance, when you look at uh, uh, John Sag, we can see that uh, that is the username and then we have the x yeah so the x shows that um, there's a password associated with this particular user uh, also we have the 1000 that shows that that is the user id for that particular user the second pass, uh, 1000 shows the uh, group id for that particular user then we have the uh we have the commas yeah, that area in blue shows that uh, there's some information about that particular user that can be added. And then later, uh, next we have the user directory. Yeah, so home John Sag is the directory followed by the shell uh, that this particular user interacts with. So that is for John Sag user, and also we have Johnny, uh, which uh, we can see Johnny also has um, some password associated with it, and then. Um, also, the user ID is 1001. Now, uh, what happens within uh, the Ubuntu or Linux uh, system is that when you add users without specifying their user ID, they automatically increment from the last user ID that was added, right? So let's see how we can uh, create a user. So to create a user, it's very simple. Uh, you need to have the privileges, yeah, the admin privileges. So we do that by using the super dual command. That is a sudo, yeah. So um, then we use the user add command. Now we, we need to specify the directory of this particular user. So I'll use the hyphen d, uh, the home directory. Uh, now. Uh, we also have, uh, so we are, let's assume that this particular user maybe belongs to the finance department. Uh, so we can just have finance. Yeah. Right. And then we have to specify, uh, not specify, but have the command to create that particular directory, which is hyphen M. We can still go ahead and associate this particular user with some uh, information yeah, like this uh, department right good uh, I think for now that's what we can do for this particular user and then let's give this particular user a name so let's say your user is going to be uh, user one. Let's just have finance, right? Finance. Yeah, so that's the name of the user. Yeah. But still, we are going to look at another command of how we can modify uh, this particular user settings, right? So uh, let's check if the user has already been created. Yeah, so you can see at the bottom there we have our user. 
right? So the users automatically uh, taken the idea of 1010, right? But suppose you want to maybe to change, you want to change this particular ID, yeah, for this particular user. Uh, we can use a different uh, command altogether. Now, to modify a user setting, we use the user mode command, yeah. So similarly, we need to have the admin privileges, so sudo user mode, right. So we just need to adjust the ID, yeah. Maybe you want the finance users to start from 2000. Yeah, so you can change the user ID to 2000. And also don't forget to specify the user name that you are changing setting. Yeah, finance. Yeah, so we, are, we want to modify the user ID. Remember it was 1001, so we want to give it 2000. Right, so let's go back and check. Very good. So you can see uh, the user ID has picked the 2000 uh, ID. So that's how we can also modify uh, the username. I mean the user ID. Right. Uh, the other thing is to, to add the password for this particular user. So let's see how we can add a password. But before we add a password, let's check the file that allows us to view the encrypted uh uh, passwords. Now, with the with this particular file uh, password, you can anyone can be able to access uh, your password. But with the shadow file, uh, you need to have the admin privileges, and that's why we need to use the super duo command yeah, to be able to access the shadow file. And so, since you want to access it. This is the VI, sudo VI, etc shadow. Yeah. So there we go. So you can see at the bottom there, uh, we have the two users. Uh, that is uh, John Sack and Johnny. So you can see the encrypted passwords that are available there. That shows that. Um, they have passwords. You can log in with those particular usernames. But the one that you created, user one finance, doesn't have a password. That's why you can see there's an exclamation mark. Yeah. So this particular uh, file, the shadow file, allows you to view encrypted uh, passwords. So let's go ahead and create a password for this particular uh, user. So to create a password, you simply type sudo then have password, then indicate the name of this particular user, right? So enter, then you provide uh, the password. Yeah. So you have to repeat the password again. Good. So the password is automatically updated. So let's go back to the shadow file. So you can see uh, the user fi finance has already uh, the password for the user has already been created and it's encrypted. So you must have the super door uh, privileges for you to be able to uh, access this particular file. Now, going forward, it's also important to know how to uh, access or capture the groups associated with a particular uh, users or user. So to do that, the other file that we need to uh, use is actually uh, the group file. Yeah. So this one we can uh, just access it uh, with this particular command. Yeah. So this particular command allows access to uh, this particular file that allows you to view the available groups. On the extreme left, uh, those ones are the groups that are available, right? 
and on the extreme right like for example the next step we have john sag so that's the user one user that we have we, that has been created so this user belongs to the group called net dev yeah so you can uh, we have um a john sag group the new group and user one finance group but still we can uh create uh, we can create other groups uh, we can create a group that associates with these particular users uh, no for the password within groups is not normally implemented yeah but also we can see how uh, the shadow file or the g shadow file that this group the encrypted passwords for the groups below uh, shows now uh, take note of the group id the end, like for the user one finances, the group ID of 1002. Yeah, we can also specify a group ID when you're creating a particular uh, group. So let's see how we can uh, view uh, the encrypted version of the uh, group. So the other file that you can access is the sudo. We use the sudo um uh, privileges so we move to the it's called the g shadow this one allows you to view uh the passwords for the different uh groups so i take note of the have looked at the user uh password file we also have looked at the uh, shadow file you have also looked at the uh, g shadow file so these files uh, enable you to manipulate both the user and the groups so to create a group uh, we simply use the sudo command uh, group add right so we can associate this particular group with the uh, with a unique ID, yeah, maybe 3000, yeah. Uh, then let's give this group a name. Since we had a finance guy, we created a finance guy within the finance department, you can have, you can have this, as the name of the group, finance depart as the name of the, of the group then we enter so let's view the group whether it has been created yeah so we can see at the end there we have the finance depart group that we've created and also it has a unique group id of 3000 yeah now the last final part is to associate a user to a particular a group yeah so that we can have a proper user management so we want to associate uh, the user one finance with the group that you have just created so we are going to uh, use the user mode command yeah so I take note of this command so we are going to have a hyphen a capital G yeah and then have uh, that particular user to this particular group yeah, finance yeah so what you are simply saying is that this particular user, uh, of course, you need to specify the user who is user one. Yeah. So what you are simply saying is that uh, this user, user one finance, should belong to the finance department group. Yeah. Right. So let's again check whether that has been so you can see yeah 
So user one finance now belongs to the finance uh, department group. Yeah, and so on and so forth. So we can use the different files that I've mentioned uh, to successfully uh, create our users and group and associate each and every user to a unique uh, user group. So thank you. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to our uh, channels for more uh, interactive uh, Ubuntu server related commands and user management. So thank you and let's meet next time.